Resident Evil 9 leaks are already spreading and some of them are just crazy. But where these are coming from have been removed, so please keep everything I say with a grain of salt. Before we do begin with this video, 94% of you guys are not subscribed, and it would mean a lot to me if you guys could subscribe, please and thank you. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. So in today's video guys, we are going to be speaking about Resident Evil Apocalypse. That is the given codename, and we are going to be talking about some of the leaks that have leaked, but keep this with a grain of salt as I previously mentioned because... Uh, this is pretty skeptical because of the leak uh, essentially got removed already and a lot of people have covered this I did want to give my honest opinions, but I'm going to do that later in the video But without further ado guys, let's just get right into this The working title of the game is Resident Evil Apocalypse And it's set in a ghost town in the west where a certain investigation will take place this setting is said to be a small town and lots of different outdoor settings like caves, camping sites, and populated areas where enemies are described as deformed creatures that resemble mythological creatures. Apparently, locals call them Goatman and Wendigo. There will be a huge emphasis on body horror and that monsters can get closer to players camouflaging as friendly NPCs if the body of the original NPC has died and players didn't see it happen. There is also a rumor that the map is going to have a large unsettling forest that players can easily get Get lost in presumably because it's dense and dark also an early boss called Bargist that is like a giant black dog with a twist a woman antagonist called Geistis Glastis Glistis with a really beautiful design with green and gold ornaments and morning green gown and another woman slash bioweapon character that serves as a guide to the player like Geistas is said the monsters in the game fear respect this character like they do Geistas. The rumor also mentions players can force some doors open, lock them, barricade them, and use melee breakable weapons. Lastly, it mentions the plot is about the ninth moon phase, which is where the name apocalypse came from now if you have been paying attention and you've been around the gaming scene for a long time this sounds like a lot of silent hill now silent hill is regarded as one of the best gaming franchises ever created by konami and i'm not talking about the later installations i'm talking about the first four games presumably but this does sound very peculiar i mean it's in a west town that just sounds like silent hill to me i don't know if it does to you guys but i'm getting that vibe and i'm pretty sure a lot of people can agree with me that they are probably taking a lot of inspiration i mean this would be something new for the franchise i mean they did take it back with resident evil 7 which is a good thing you know they went back to the roots we we're getting tired of the action-packed games which did start with resident evil 4 and then kind of intervened with resident evil 5 and then killed it off with resident evil 6 those games are still great in its entirety but it's just a different category of resident evil if you are interested in those games that's great but resident evil has always been a horror title series and if this is true some of these leaks sound very very nice i think this could be a very good change of pace for the franchise i mean we are we've been getting nothing but remakes in the last couple of years for resident evil if we're getting something new and fresh that sounds really nice we're set to get the Resident Evil 8 DLC, and then we're also getting Reverse, and we're also going to be getting Resident Evil 4 Remake. I'm sure they're going to plan out DLC for the future of Resident Evil, but we're probably going to get Resident Evil 9 probably a couple years down the line. I wouldn't really expect a lot coming from this yet. Uh, we still have a lot to cover, man. We still have a lot to go through. Capcom is probably in the early conceptual phases for the game, and probably nothing has been really knocked down. But like I said, these are just leaks. Please take everything with a grain of salt. Without further ado, guys, I hope you guys definitely did enjoy this video. I hope you guys did appreciate it. I'm sorry I'm a late, little bit late on this, but um, you know, better late than never, yeah. Other than that, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, y'all.